Hey guys, uh, Ninja to be seen here. Uh, I'm gonna try to do some tutorials for you guys uh, on Hyperspin. Um, so here's a, a video on how to set up the randomizer uh, for your Hyperspin setup. Uh, so every time you start a Hyperspin, it will start a new intro video. Uh, so it's uh, pretty simple to do uh, once you get uh, used to it. Um, but first, you'll just uh, go to Hyperspin's uh, third-party app downloads. You'll download the randomizer uh, app here. And then you'll just put it in your Hyperspin uh, root folder. Um, name it uh, randomizer or whatever it, uh, you like here. I named it randomizer. And it's in my Hyperspin uh, root folder. Uh, and just unzip that file that you download and drop it in here. Uh, it will come with uh, two files, uh, randomize or random.ini file, as well as a randomizer uh, exe file. Um, all you've got to do is, as you guys are collecting intro videos, um, you've got to add to the random ini uh, file here, and you'll essentially just be adding to the file list uh, here, as well as the random list here. Uh, so to kind of go down the line here, um, we're gonna be using option two, um, and you'll have to put in the file path uh, that you use uh, for your front end videos, uh, which should be standard for all of Hyperspin uh, users. Um, and then you just put in your, uh, your actual, um, intro video uh, FLV file. This is the standard one that comes uh, installed with your Hyperspin. Uh, that file is going to be replaced essentially every time you uh, close and reopen Hyperspin. Um, this file list is just a list of all of the file names that you have. Uh, so you can see that I've got quite a bit of intro videos. I think I've got like 40, uh, well, 55, uh, there you go. Uh, I've got a, a set of 55 videos um, and every time I add or find a new one, uh, I've named the file uh, intro one, for example, and I put FLV, uh, the files need to be FLV, and then you pipe the limit uh, between each one of these uh, files that you've uh, found. Uh, so as you find stuff, uh, just throw in uh, to the file list here, and then the random list, uh, the randomizer XE actually uh, jumbles this, which is good. That's the order of the random videos. Uh, but what I tend to do is when I add a new video, what I'll do is I'll scroll all the way to the right, and then I'll just pipe the limit, type in intro 56 as an example dot FLV, and then I'll just copy that, and I'll paste it just below here. Um, these both uh, need to be pipe delimited uh, for this thing to work. Um, but that's all there is to it, um, and here we go. So yeah, you would file save as, and that's all there is. Um, you'll notice I've got a bat file here. A uh, bat file essentially you can just create a uh, a text file. And I'll open it up here, and you can just create a bat file by saving it as dot uh, bat. So when you go to file name type in randomizer, and then, uh, you know, dot bat here. Um, so this is just used because I, I call this, um, because I use the uh, nested uh, wheel setup. Um, I'll show in a later video of where I call that, but essentially I've got a startup script um, that tells uh, basically hyperspin to go call this bat file, which in result runs the uh, randomizer. This isn't necessary for the r regular setup, but as you'll see in uh, my other video, uh, the nested setup is uh, pretty sweet where you can categorize um, all the arcade systems uh, into one wheel. Uh, it's very seamless once you get it uh, set up. Um, so that's it on the file download, uh, the randomizer and creating the INI file. Uh, now we just need to find videos and uh, where to store those. Um, so I'm going to go back to my Hyperspin root and in your media folder, uh, you're going to find um, a front end folder. Uh, you can ignore all of these uh, 
wheels here. I, I've got a killer playlist uh, set up. Um, as you can see, there's a, a lot of uh, folders here. Uh, you won't see the drive sellers, uh, you know, have anything like that, but um, the, it looks like a lot of work, but I'll show you in a later video that it's actually very simple um, with a Hyper XML spin, uh, another add-on. Um, I'll mostly be focusing on some add-on uh, tutorials uh, to get you guys going. Um, so I'm gonna scroll down to uh, front end uh, media. Uh, if I could spell here, let's get up here. Here we go. Front end and then video. And basically I created a random startup video uh, folder. And this is where you can uh, drop all of your uh, media that you end up finding. So I'm gonna open that up. You're gonna see I've got a lot of different uh, videos here. I've, uh, I think I've got most of these on the MU Movies uh, FTP, uh, but yeah, I don't always keep that up to date. I'm, I'm sure I've got more here than what MU Movies has. Um, so yeah. Uh, all of these uh, will essentially play uh, at any given time and uh, you know who knows what the the hyperspin uh, is going to tell you um, so yeah you've got the random startup uh, videos folder that you'll create um, transitions will already be here once you know you've installed hyperspin in general uh, this is the intro video uh, that I was telling you about this actually gets replaced every single time you uh, uh, startup hyperspin. It just basically copies one of these random videos that I was just showing you and it saves over this uh, behind the scenes. Uh, the more you know. <laughs> uh, and then off to the right here, these are just backups of the no video um, files. I no longer need those, but I've got them uh, because I, I've got videos or screenshots for every, uh, for every game. So that's all there is to it. Um, I'll put some links in the descriptions uh, below and uh, we'll fire this up and I'll show you maybe an intro video of something I haven't seen before. I'm sure I have, but here we go. Turn it. So this is Tron themed, as you can see. All the intro videos uh, try to keep less than two minutes. Uh, really, you know, 15 to 30 seconds is the sweet spot. Uh, but yeah, there you go. So there's the nested wheel again, as you guys have seen before. Introducing Hyperspin. And you can hear Hyperspeech right now. Uh, I've got special art as well at the top and bottom of the screens. Uh, I'll show off some of that at a, a later time. Choose from a list of all systems supported regardless of category. Game on. So I, I wanted to concatenate uh, an intro video for the uh, all systems, which you're going to see here, uh, right when it boots up after the intro screen. Um, you can get creative with some of this. This doesn't randomize, but I just immediately thought because uh, you know it looks like a system Choose intro a uh, or a hyperspin intro, but it's actually my uh, all system uh, video. Basically, took two startup videos and I put them into one, so it you know, represents all systems pretty well, I think. There you have it. Uh, the randomizer, pretty easy to set up. Uh, adds a lot to the system. Uh, it's impressive. Um, and there you go. Look forward to uh, more tutorials in the future. I'll try to upload, uh, you know, once a day or once a week, whatever it might be. Uh, 